Hey friends, Joshua Dubois here. I led faith-based and neighborhood partnerships for President Obama, and now I run an organization called Values Partnerships. But I'm here today to talk to you about a very specific subject, and an important one, the 2018 midterm elections. Now you may be saying, listen, I'm a faith leader, I am a member of a congregation, what does that have to do with politics? Well, I am here to tell you that you are the moral authority in our nation today, and there is no more important time than this time right now for you to raise your voice. There are big issues at stake right now. Some of you may have some years on me, and I may have some years on some of you, but I can say with confidence from my own perspective that this is the most important election of our lifetime. The way that we treat our immigrant neighbors is on the table. Criminal justice is on the table. The environment is on the table. Basic notions of human dignity are at stake in the 2018 elections, and you're the ones that set the parameters of the values debate in this country, and we need as many of you as possible to take hold of this moment and let your voices be heard. Now you may be asking, what can we do and still stay within the appropriate parameters of church and state? I'm gonna give you four specific things, and it's pretty easy to remember. Forms, rides, ears and eyes. Again, that's forms, rides, ears and eyes. What is he talking about? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. So first, forms. Forms means voter registration forms. Make sure that everyone in your congregation and their kids and their grandkids, if they're over 18, and their friends are registered to vote. Create a database, uh, run a program, and make sure that everyone is registered to vote in their jurisdiction. Second, rides. Make sure that everyone that you have just registered actually can get to the polls. Coordinate a ride to the polls program. That is perfectly ethical and legal and within the boundaries of church and state. Make sure that people can get to the polls. And then finally, these two are together, ears and eyes. Make sure that your local election officials and your secretary of state know that you're watching, know that you care about issues like voter protection and disenfranchisement. You can reach out to the Secretary of State's office as a group of clergy, for example, and ask for a meeting and say that you're there to be a partner with them, but also to hold them accountable. You can volunteer uh, to be poll watchers. You can work with organizations like the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights um, and work on voter protection issues. Listen, I am so delighted and encouraged that Auburn and its partners are coming together around these issues. There is no more important time in our country's recent history than November 2018, and we need faith communities to get engaged. Thank you so much, and I'm excited to celebrate with you about all the mobilization that occurs in November.